So far, we have seen how to create database users which maps to a login at the instance level. It is also possible to create a database user which does not map to a server principal. However, this is only possible for contained databases. So let's take a look at how you create a contained user and how you can connect to your database when you are using a contained user. So in this lecture we'll be using the DemoDB2 which is a contained database. So expand the database, right click on users, select new user and then for the user type you're going to specify SQL user with password. So here you'd have the option to specify the username as well as the password. Unlike previously, you didn't have the option to specify a password. So if we switch this back to SQL Server with login, then we would have to map it to a login that is already on the instance. So let's switch it back to SQL user with password. So let's specify a username and password. So specify a username and password. I'll be calling this user contained user. And just for this purpose of this tutorial, I'll be keeping the password the same. Now you can specify the membership role, so I'm just going to give it data reader and writer. Then select OK. Now whenever you're connecting to the contained database, you must specify the database name in the connection parameter. So now let's connect as the contained user. So select connect, database engine, change the authentication mode to SQL Server authentication, specify your username and password. But the key thing here is on the options tab, now you need to specify the database in which you need to connect to. See if I hit connect now, the login will fail because the instance does not know of this user. However, the database in which this user is created will authenticate the user. So it's demo db2 and I am now able to log in successfully to the database. Contained users makes it easier to lift and shift your database and you won't have any issues with and you won't have any issues with our fund users if you are using contained users. So this is my favorite user type to use when creating a database in SQL Server.